So who we are, this comes from our director's annual report. We are a uh, school board in southwestern Ontario, Canada, and we have a large geographical location. We have 15,100 students, 10,000 of which are elementary, almost 5,000 of which are secondary. And we have 32 elementary schools and nine secondary schools. We are in an area that is rural and uh, we have fairly high graduation rates, approximately between 81 and 86%, depending on how many years that students are in school. And we have most of our students are going on to either college or the workforce and a smaller percentage are going on to university once they complete secondary education. Also in our plan, we have um, some references on page 22, limited references uh, to technology. So down here, uh, they're talking about the pathways plan for students uh, who complete their secondary education. And uh, they refer here at the end to the number of students in tech and co-op programs to determine if there are patterns. And we do have technological programs in our schools. In one of our high schools, we have a high skills major program, which sets up students for the trades. And uh, furthermore, just to give you an idea of our uh, budget, we have um, information technology. We had a spending here at about $3,143,000. But our revenues were um, about a million short, so we had $2,087,000 uh, um, in revenue. So we have spent more than um, we have taken in. Um, this may speak to the pandemic, but also to the need to have more technology in our schools. There's also a, if you look lower, you'll see that um, we also have uh, a line here for school administration and that's uh, principals and VPs, and we have not used our entire budget. So we have $384,000 left. And the reason that I bring that up is because later on, I'll be talking about uh, some of the recommendations and the requirements for ICT policy.